I am Professor Massimo Santini, the director of the cardiovascular department in the St. Filippo Hospital in Rome. Why is there a need for more atrial fibrillation awareness from your perspective? First of all, because atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia worldwide. It affects a significant amount of the general population. Just think that over 70, 75 years of age, about 10% of the population is affected by any kind of atrial fibrillation uh, because it seems to be a benign arrhythmia, but if it is silent, that means asymptomatic, it can be very malignant. Furthermore, there is a risk of embolism and 50% of the emboli goes to the brain and uh, can be very, very dangerous. Therefore, and we can treat very easily and avoid them just by anticoagulating the patient. So there is an easy treatment if we may be aware and understand that the patient is in the risk of having a fibrillation. That's why we need it. What do you think the societal impact is for patients that have atrial fibrillation that goes on to stroke? There is an individualized therapy and every doctor must understand which is the best therapy for each individual patient. And therefore, we must treat the patient and control that the therapy is effective. It's not enough to give pills or to ablate the patient. You must follow him up and understand that the treatment has been effective. Otherwise, it will run the risk of an embolic cerebral. Therefore, we must anticoagulate the patient as much as possible. What are the key facts clinicians should know about strokes caused by AF? More particularly, the, what the older clinician should know is the advantages that we may obtain by implantable devices. That's probably a, a specific section of therapy and diagnostic that they ignore. And they should uh, make them aware that you may obtain quite a lot of uh, informations uh, just in a, in a cardiac patient treated by an implanted device, a pacemaker patient, uh, an ICD patient, or just using a loop recorder, which is a small device which may be implanted just below the skin, and it's a cardiologist below your skin, and uh, he looks at your heart rate day by day, 24 hours for 24 hours, and furthermore that the implanted device may make the diagnosis immediately and by remote monitoring can advise the center that the East patient is in atrial fibrillation. We saw in the symposium the possibility of remote monitoring allowing for individualized treatment for, of patients that have atrial fibrillation. What are your thoughts on that? By implanted device, we may implement significantly diagnosis and treatment. Is asymptomatic more um, important than asymptomatic atrial fibrillation? I would say yes. Silent asymptomatic atrial fibrillation is very dangerous. The possibility to have a coagulate and then uh, a potential embolism coming from the atrial appendage is significantly higher. I would spend much more attention to asymptomatic patients until they are fully anticoagulated. What are your perspectives on device therapy um, for atrial fibrillation management in the future? Where do you think this whole field is going? I would like to have an atrial defibrillator. That means that the patient is paced if needed, uses anti pacing if he has another, and is shocked at the low energy, maybe at two o'clock in the night while he's sleeping, 